with Grant KFTV Dragon News. And I'm Santiago. This is the sixth episode of season six of KFTV Dragon News for the year. For the week of December 22nd through January 5th, we'd like to say happy birthday to the Falling Dragons. Happy birthday, everyone. Next up is weather. Today, reporting the weather, we have Jacob. Hey, Jacob, what's the weather like for this week? Ugh, how do you like this cold weather? I miss wearing my shorts and my t-shirt. I don't even mind the rain, but when it's cold, gray, high fog, it's too chilly for me. For the, for the coming week, expecting the lows to be in the mid to high 30s and the highs to be in the low 50s. Expect some rain this week. Yes, that could mean indoor recess and PE. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jacob, for reporting on the weather. Next up is our how-to. Let's see what I will show everyone else today. How-to make easy trigger cookies. Important info, makes 48 cookies. Prep time, 20 minutes. Cook time, anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. Before baking, free heat up to 375. Ingredients, 2 and 4 small cook-purpose baking flour, teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, don't remember not to put their next stuff. Cup of softened butter, 1 and a half cups white sugar, 1 egg, 1 teaspoon vanilla, drop from the recipe from all the recipes.com. Mix flour, baking soda, and baking powder in a small bowl. Put sugar and butter together in a large bowl. Bake for about eight minutes. Well, golden brown. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Santi. I hope people try that at home. Well, it is the beginning of the new year, and that means it's time to restart with the New Year's resolutions. Field reporters Carson and Alex talk to some dragons to find out what their New Year's resolutions are. I'm Cave TV Dragon News, and I'm in the Team 3, and my name is Alex, and what's your name? Kira. 
Okay, Sarah, what is your New Year's resolution? I try harder to read my book. Okay, thank you. I'm Alex, and today I'm here with... Larson Duran. Larson Duran. What is your New Year's resolution? To get better at math. Okay, thank okay, you so Aiden, much. what are your New Year's resolution? Doing math. Mm -hmm. And doing art, drawing, and that's all. Okay, thank you so much for the interview. Hi, Alexander. What is your New Year's resolution? To learn multiplication and division. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, Haley, what is your New Year's resolution? To help my friends mm -hmm. and my classroom. Okay, thank you uh, so much. My New Year's resolution is um, being kind, safe, and responsible. Okay, thank you so I'm much. I'm Alex, and today I'm here with... Aiden. Hi, Aiden. What is your New Year's resolution? Um, my uh, class... My my classmate and my class. Okay, thank and you. And today I'm here with... Daxton. Daxton, what is what is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's, my New Year's re revolution is to spend more time with my family, get better at division and multiplication. Well, I want to learn it, and that's my New Year's resolution. Okay, thank you. Leah, what is your New Year's resolution? To draw more realistically. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, Ruth, what is your New Year's resolution? To ride my bike with no training rails. Okay, good job. And thank you for the interview. Okay, Hunter, what's your New Year's resolutions? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, Riley, what is your New Year's resolution? Uh, to draw a hole better. All right, thank you. Okay, Colton, what is your New Year's resolution goals? To, to get taller and to get more money. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Good luck with your New Year's resolutions, dragons. Next up, we have five facts about corgis. Five facts about corgis. Did you know that corgis originated in Wales? Corgis started appearing in the 10th century. Also, corgis are called enchanted dogs. Corgis are also world-class herding dogs. Corgis love to be your best friend. Bye. Thanks, Ashby. I kind of want to get a corgi now. We know our next segment is kind of late, but we think it's never late to show the fun we have here at Fiker. Let's show some pictures from Red Ribbon Week.
For the end of last year, we celebrated both Thanksgiving and Christmas. Let's see some of the holiday celebrations activities here at Viker. I love Viker spirit. Me too, and we still have five months to go. Um, so our class today is having a fancy Thanksgiving because I wanted my students to be able to have that experience of dressing up and going to um, a fancy restaurant. We're just having a class Thanksgiving because we won't be here on Thanksgiving. We're just having fun. Ellen Fikert's Christmas Store. Hey, my name is Sarah Johansson and I'm PTO President for Fikert Elementary. Okay, and what are you doing here today? What are we doing here? We are doing the um, Spikes Santa Shop or the Holiday Shop this year where all kinds of kids get to come in and buy Christmas presents for their family members and themselves. Um, and as you can see, we've done all this setup and decorating to make sure that kids have plenty of options. Okay, what is your favorite thing here? My favorite thing here? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think it would have to be probably the Hello Kitty backpack because it's adorable. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Alex Galindas and today I'm here with Eli Chavez. Okay, Eli, what are you doing here today? I'm working at the shop. My name is Vincent. Hi Vincent, are you enjoying the store? Yes, I'm very excited. What's your favorite thing in the store? My favorite thing is the, for my stuff. For my dad is this, this for my friend, this for my mom, and that one, the nail polish is for my sister. Can you show it to us please? So, I'll start. So this is for my dad. This is for my mom. Sister. This is my friend, Eric. Okay, thank you. Blake Merrill. Hi Blake, are you enjoying the store so far? Yes. Do you have anything in your bucket? I only have is just one. Who are you buying for? My brothers and my sister. Okay, thank you. That wraps up the Christmas store for 2023. See you next year. Next up, we have our SC Mystery. Let's see if you can figure out the final number. Do you hey, Fire Dragons. I'm Carson, and today, this SC Mystery is going to see how many studs are on this Lego Rubik's Cube. Each face has nine, squ nine squares. Each square has four studs. I a clue. A cube has six faces. If you got 216 studs, you're correct. Back to you in the studio.
Do you ever wonder about what happened on this day in history? KFTV reporter Jacob will tell us right now. On this day in history, the live action Batman was started. The show had a real Batmobile. Batman introduced a new dance. The Batman TV show was on twice a week. The person who played Batman was in a Nestle Quick ad. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for cluing us in, Jacob. Next up is the joke box. Ready for some laughs? Time for the joke, joke box. box. Let me hand out the jokes. What did yours say, Jude? Why do golfers wear two pairs of pants? Why? In case they get a hole in one. <laughs> Mine says, why did the robber wear blue gloves? In case he caught caught red-handed. <laughs> I wouldn't trust those trees. They're kind of sadly. <laughs> shady. 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 Um, how does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in the studio. Well, before we sign off, let's look at some of the fabulous faces of Fiker. up the news for today. Have a nice week and remember that dragons are kind, safe, and responsible. This is KFTV Dragon News signing off.